Yes. Wonderful to have the one and only Janetti Barrett in the building. Thank you. So, uh, Janetti, would you mind just giving us a quick little, uh, I don't know, um, what's a stop tour, uh, 30 second brief about who you are? Okay. What are you doing currently at the moment? My name is Janetti Machetti. I also go by the AK of Empress Lyricist B. And my full name is Janetti Barrett. I'm a mental health advocate for the community and I chose to be so because I was a retired psychiatric nurse and felt that our culture and our people, the needs for them wasn't being met. However, I've got a niche to my style Mm. because for me to bring over my mental health help to the community, I bring it using art form. Mm. Mm. And with art form, I believe, because they are already wearing a mask, I give them a mask that can elevate them and create a different character within within them that gives them a sense of purpose, a sense of well-being, and with that, they can start to remove the mask and become and return back to themselves. That sounds like such a, an important thing, especially nowadays as well, where we, we hide behind computer screens and phone screens and personas. Totally. Totally. Uh, we can, can kind of control the narrative of our lives to the yes. outside world. Yes. Whereas the inside world could be something else going on altogether. Absolutely, absolutely. So the the power of words, then obviously from a from a young age, it must have come a come a kind of yes. awakened you. So what was your curly people? Let me tell you. From the age of two, I was in charge of my own autistic neurodiverse. Mm. That's the right word to use now. Sister, who's 11 months younger than myself. Right. Two, you imagine a two-year-old cannot dress themselves properly, do anything themselves properly, but I was in charge of her when my other sisters went to school until the carer came in two hours later. Two hours in charge of an autistic person, 11 months younger than yourself. Wow. So um, I already was creative Mm. because I needed to find ways to keep her channeled, Mm. focused, not having tantrums, interactive, and above all, safe. Mm. So before I even knew anything, I was inventing things all the time. And that's never left me. Wow. So that need at that point, which a lot of people might have felt very difficult to manage that situation, that definitely induced these abilities that you've kind of like running with today. Exactly. And we all, in our working environment, in our family life, how many hats do we all wear Mm. each day? Mm. Mm. Each of those hats, people, is a mask. Mm. Each of those hats is something that we have to act in out of our natural character. When you come home and you put the key in the door and you want to use the loo or something like that and you just loosen up, there you are Mm. with everything stripped back and removed. But the minute you start to, oh, I'm going to prepare myself to work, something changes within the psyche, with the persona, because you're prepared to meet this, what you've got to do at work. Mm. Or you're prepared to meet the in-laws. Or you're prepared to meet your friends. Or you're prepared to... These different hats that you put on all the time. And sometimes we can get so wrapped up in changing these hats, these masks, that we can lose ourselves. Mm. We can lose our own persona. So therefore, we have to always remember to be creative enough to return to ourselves so that we can evolve and each layer becomes a stronger version of ourselves and not a stronger version of the extra persona that we put on for other people. That's where depression comes in, when we are lost, Mm. when people perceive us to be in control. That's why you see a lot of artists and stars, all of a sudden you hear they've got depression or they, they've committed suicide. Mm. How could they? They were told that it was so... For sure. It wasn't them. It was one of their personas that got so engulfed and took over the real them. They lost themselves. And when you lose yourself, you don't know what to do. You kind of give up. Wow. That's very, very powerful. And the mask that we wear each and every day like you said yeah. the hats are diff- and we kind of tend to lose ourselves um, I do recall like uh, as, a, as a teenager going through like different bouts of emotions and stuff that weren't very very positive and then I had to think back what was the sort of things I was doing when I was younger that made me happy and just return like, that's right return 
open to yourself. 100%. 100%. Yeah, and that's why um, the younger generation can say you don't understand. And a lot of the times we, we've lost that within ourselves mm. in this process of growing. Now the process of growing into adulthood is one thing, but there's a process of growing yourself as a person is another thing which keeps you in contact with your younger self. Mm. You know, how many of us could say, if we could go back, what would we tell our younger self? Mm. So true. if you think that, you can go back every single day of your life when you meet a younger person. You can go back to your younger self when you meet a younger person. So relate to them with respect. And elevate them just like you would if you was going to talk to your younger self and want your younger self to be the better person through that growth transition to where you are now. Wow, that's fantastic. I was going to ask you as well for some words of wisdom, but I think we've definitely got those there. So moving forward then, Janet, how can people kind of reach out and learn more a bit more about you? What are the best portals for which where people can see um, your work? Well... Speaking about younger people, I'm dyslexic and I've got um, dyscalculia, dyspraxia, the whole um, ensemble of neurodiversity. Right? So I'm not good with technology. So I'm not on Twitter. I'm not on TikTok. I'm not on, what's the other one? Face up or face one time or what? And there's another one. Mm-hmm. So old school Facebook. Facebook. And Instagram, just about. Brilliant. Okay, and it just comes under the normal name of ja- it's Janetti. Mm-hmm. So slice the name up, Janetti Barrett or Janetti dot Barrett dot seven one. Okay, that's Facebook. But check the face and see a picture with the face like this on, and that's me. <laughs> fab, fab, fab. Well, Janetti, thank you so much welcome. for the chat and the words of wisdom as well. Yeah. Very important. Mm-hmm. A huge advocate for the arts, and I'm looking forward to seeing how we all work together and move forward and evolve I can't, in the future. I can't wait. I can't wait because um, initially it's not something that everyone can elevate to with poetry and things like that, but there's poetry in everything. Mm. We've, we've all heard of the phrase poetry in motion. As you look outside, the facets of nature is poetry in motion because it's an art form. Music, dance, it's all an art form. It's all poetry. It's all rhythmical. So this is something that we'll be doing and we'll be bringing it in very, very different formats. And the whole purpose of doing all of that is to meet you where you're at. Hi there. My name is Janetti Barrett, Empress Lyricist B. And as far as womanhood is concerned, I think we need to fight and own the fact that we still want to be called woman, lady, queen, empress, And because of the way things are going today, why should we have to step out of our choices and our norm to conform to the way society is asking us to speak? Be your authentic self. Be you, stay true, and follow through in all you do. Stand and fight. Have to stand and fight. It's time to get over. Time to make things right, right for each other. Even if we're scared, we cannot stay under. Have to fight today to keep things away. Those troubles at the door, troubles from within, deep within our hearts, Deep within our skin, don't let them win, don't let them win, don't let them win. Embrace your shade and the shape you are made. Embrace your shade and the shape you are made. Embrace your shade and the shape you are made. Because there'll only ever be just one of you. So whether you are white or whether you are black. 
Born another shade between this and that. Shaped like a tube, an apple or a pear. There's only one unique you, so you're exceptionally rare. Embrace your shade and the shape you want me. Come follow me. Embrace your shade and the shape you want me. Come check me. Embrace your shade and the shape you are made. And if no one likes your hair, just go, hmm, I don't care.